Mostly everywhere you go in this world has some structure and rules to prevent total anarchy. But that doesn't apply to the boys toilets at school. For some reason it's a completely different ballpark. It's basically a free for all war zone where no rules exist. Sure, the teachers do have rules for the boys toilets, but let's be real, they don't get followed at all. Because it's a place no teachers really go into, because they probably have their own private toilets, and I'm betting it's way more fancier than what the school provides us boys. Because the boys toilets don't have any structures or rules, crazy and horrible stuff usually goes on inside them. So much crazy stuff that I have forced myself to always use the toilet just before leaving the house to go to school. Number 1. MY PANTS! One time there was this pants thief at school that thought it would be so funny to wait for someone to go into the stalls and when they pull their pants down to sit on the toilet, the thief would quickly grab their pants from under the stool and take off with them. Usually the thief would throw the pants in nearby bushes because the person who got their pants stolen was too scared to leave the stools in only their underwear. They wouldn't leave the stools until the teachers would come looking for them. This went on for over a month and somehow the thief was never caught. I'm not sure about anyone else, but when this was all going on, I would just take my pants off and leave them folded on top of my lap. I wasn't going to take any chances of being stuck in a smelly toilet. Number 2. Mr. Sandwich There was this one time I walked into the toilet and opened the nearest stool and this random student I never talked to was actually sitting on the toilet, pants down while doing a code brown, and all that while he was also eating a whole ass sandwich. You would think that he probably just accidentally forgot to lock the stool, but he didn't react like it, and instead just nodded and took another bite of his sandwich. I then apologised and quickly left the toilets. I knew it was probably best just to wait until school finished that day to do my business. Number 3. You missed. I think toilets are one of the most perfect man-made inventions ever. Like if we didn't have toilets, who knows how this world would operate. Now, even though the toilet is such a great and easy to use invention, People still seem to muck it up. Like, that's a pretty big hole to aim your piss into, right? Hard to really miss, isn't it? Then explain this and this and this! I swear the boys' toilets are usually always covered in piss and shit. How? How can you miss? It's right in front of you! Like if this were the hole, yeah sure, but it's not. This is. You must be doing it on purpose. Please. Tell me why. Number 4. Vaping. Ever since vaping became so damn trendy, the boys toilet had been a hot spot for vape users. I can't stand the artificial smell of vapes. It's as awful smelling as cigarettes. Now, when I'm taking a piss, I gotta smell your dirty ass strawberry flavoured vape fumes. I'd rather smell shit if I'm being honest. At least the smell is natural instead of some Chinese factory sweatshop made smell. I know I probably sound like an old fart, but it's true, it smells like shit. How can you vape that stuff? It's gross. Number 5. That's not lemon hand soap. You know what's not funny? Being pissed on. A few kids at my school would probably agree to that when you hear what they had to go through. Someone in the boys toilet thought it would be so funny if they got the soap dispensers on the sink and pissed in each of them, mixing their yellow body juice with the hand soap. Whenever someone went to wash their hands, they would get their hands covered in pissy liquid soap, realising a bit too late when they get their first whiff. Like if there's a fetish or something for some people. Why can't we just have nice things? Once the story got around, I brought my own bottle of soap with me to school just to be safe. Number 6. Broken Locks I'm not sure why, but kids were always obsessed with breaking the stool locks to the point that they don't lock no more. We would get new toilet locks and in less than a week, they'd be broken again. Don't ask me why they would do this, but they did, and it was so annoying. i constantly have to have my leg up, preventing the door from being opened. One time I managed to use a strong stick and create a sort of lock using the metal of the broken lock, but it didn't last for very long. 
I just wanted to enjoy the few moments of peace I have at this school without having to worry about someone going to bust down the stool and see me in my vulnerable state. Like I said, we cannot have nice things. The boys' toilets at school are always chaos and I guess that's just something we can't really change because you can't add new rules to a ruleless place. It's a jungle where the animals cut down their own forest. I wonder if the girls' toilets at school are as magical and heavenly as described because if that's the case, I may have to buy myself a wig and a dress and head on over there sometime. I'm sick of this crap. This is a